Welcome to the Etisalat eLife Connect and eLife Connect Plus quick installation guide video. The following step-by-step -step program will guide you to set up the eLife Connect and eLife Connect Plus devices all by yourself. eLife Connect is the Wi-Fi 6 home gateway exclusively from Etisalat. It offers internet speeds up to 2.5 gigabits per second. Before we start the installation, make sure that your gift box includes the following. The eLife Connect, an Ethernet cable with red boots, an Ethernet cable with yellow and blue boots, a power adapter, a wall bracket, a quick installation guide, and a Wi-Fi card. If you need any assistance while connecting any of the devices, please contact us and we will provide you with the assistance you require. You can contact us by dialing 800 2 7 2. Let's start by setting up your eLife Connect home gateway first. You can place your eLife Connect device on any piece of furniture, but preferably in a dry, open and clear place that will allow the gateway to be properly ventilated. You can also fix the device on a wall using the supplied wall bracket. Fix the wall bracket using the provided screws. Then simply plug the gateway into the holder by gently lifting the top flap. While the eLife Connect is fixed on the wall, you can still check the main information on its label as there is an opening at the bottom of the bracket, allowing you to easily read the important information. Now, let's connect your device to the internet. First, locate the Atizalat Telecom box. This box, the ONT, is the device that connects you to the Atizalat's powerful fiber optic network. Check the LAN port on the ONT assigned for eLife Triple Play services. Take the Ethernet cable with red boots that were supplied in the gift box. Do not use any other Ethernet cable than the one supplied, as it may have been damaged or folded. Connect the supplied Ethernet cable with the red boots from the red WAN port of eLife Connect to the specified LAN port on the ONT. Alternatively, if the connection to the Etisalat Telecom box is through an Ethernet wall socket, Connect the supplied Ethernet cable with red boots from the red WAN port of eLife Connect Gateway to the specified Ethernet wall socket. Connect the eLife Connect Gateway to an electric power source using the supplied power adapter. Wait for two to three minutes for activation. If you are replacing your existing router or home gateway, disconnect it first and discard its power adapter and cables. After a few minutes, the broadband and internet globe LEDs will turn solid green. Your eLife Connect home gateway is now connected to the internet. If it is not the case, please check the connections. For further assistance, contact the DIY support at 800 272. Now, let's connect a computer to your eLife Connect gateway. Take the Ethernet cable with the blue and yellow boots supplied in the gift box and connect it to any computer with an Ethernet port. Check the Ethernet ports on the eLife Connect gateway. You can plug your Ethernet cable to any of the yellow or blue available ports. Congratulations, your computer is now connected to the internet. Start exploring. You can also connect your devices using the Wi-Fi. Select the Wi-Fi name and use the password given on the Wi-Fi card. Your device is now connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. Alternatively, you can connect quickly by using the QR codes provided on the Wi-Fi card. Use your smartphone camera to scan the QR code. Once the QR code is scanned, you are connected automatically. There are two QR codes on the Wi-Fi card. 
One is dedicated to the 2.4 GHz network and the other one to the 5 GHz network. The selection is made by your device and the eLife Connect connects you automatically. There is also a mobile application allowing you to manage your eLife Connect home gateway from your handheld device. Download the application from your application store and launch it. To connect, use the credentials that are available on the Wi-Fi card. Log in using admin as the default username and enter the password printed on the device label. Click on the Sign In button. You are now able to change the Wi-Fi name or password and configure your gateway. Don't forget to write your new password or SSID on the Wi-Fi card. You can also configure your Wi-Fi and your home gateway using your computer. Connect your computer to the eLife Connect gateway using the supplied Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi and enter http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.1 in the address bar of a web browser such as Chrome or Edge. Your login and password are available on the device label or on the Wi-Fi card supplied in the gift box. If you lost your credentials, you could reset your eLife Connect Home Gateway by pressing on the Reset button, which is on the bottom of the Home Gateway. Simply use a pin or a pointy object and press for at least three seconds. The LED will go from solid green to a white and red. Your eLife Connect Home Gateway is reset and all the previous settings are back to the factory default settings. Your eLife Connect Home Gateway configuration is successfully completed. Let's review the different steps to make sure everything is in order. You have properly connected your gateway to the Atisalat internet box. You have plugged your eLife Connect gateway to a power source and powered up your device. You have connected your computer or device to the eLife Connect gateway using an ethernet cable or by using the Wi-Fi. Now, let's have a look at the eLife Connect Plus access point. Your eLife Connect Home Gateway Wi-Fi coverage may not be sufficient to cover all your home. eLife Connect Plus is the solution as it allows you to extend your Wi-Fi coverage across your entire residential premise. The eLife Connect Plus access point is an optional item and is subject to subscription. Inside the eLife Connect Plus package, you should have the eLife Connect Plus, an Ethernet cable with yellow boots, and a power adapter. First, let's connect the eLife Connect Plus to the eLife Connect gateway using the supplied Ethernet cable. Place the eLife Connect Plus mesh access point near the eLife Connect gateway. Connect the LAN port of the eLife Connect Plus to the LAN port of the eLife Connect gateway using the provided Ethernet cable with yellow boots. Connect the eLife Connect Plus access point to a power source. Power on the device and wait two to three minutes until the status LED on eLife Connect Plus becomes solid green. This means your eLife Connect Plus is now paired with the eLife Connect Home Gateway. Alternatively, you can connect your eLife Connect Plus access point wirelessly. Place the eLife Connect Plus mesh access point near the eLife Connect Gateway. Connect the eLife Connect Plus access point to a power source. Power on the device and wait for two minutes until the status LED on eLife Connect Plus blinks amber, indicating ready to pair mode. Now, press the plus button, WPS, on the eLife Connect gateway for a few seconds. 
and then press the plus button, WPS, on the eLife Connect Plus access point. Wait for two to three minutes until the status LED on the eLife Connect Plus becomes solid green. Once the pairing process is complete, you may place the device in the desired location. For optimal wireless performance, it is recommended to place your eLife Connect Plus within good Wi-Fi coverage area of your eLife Connect gateway. And ensure that the signal strength LED indicates solid green or at least solid amber. If the signal strength LED is red, change the position of eLife Connect Plus.